Welcome back to Late Night. You know, uh, one of my personal cherished Hollywood, uh, Hollywood, Halloween. <laughs> I'm so showbiz. <laughs> one of my cherished Halloween traditions is reading horror stories. And if you think you need a full novel to be truly frightened, you're wrong. All it takes is just two sentences. So brace yourself because tonight I'm going to read you some of the scariest and most blood curdling short stories you've ever heard in our special segment. Late Night's Two Sentence Horror Stories. <laughs> At midnight, my wife bolted awake, leaned across the bed, and whispered that there was someone in the house. The problem is, I have no wife. I don't live in a house, and I hate beds. <laughs> At first, I was grateful to find someone else trapped in the abandoned asylum with me. Then he started talking about the marathon he just ran. Let me have your social security number, I said, while signing the man up for the P.F. Chang's preferred diner loyalty program. <laughs> the number he gave me was 666. You stand frozen as into the elevator walks a man who has a long, jagged scar running down his face, a black cloak, and a rusty hook for a hand. He gets off the elevator without incident, and the real monster is your prejudice. I found my roommate on the kitchen floor, ashen-faced and trembling, muttering the phrase, ghost cow. Inside the fridge, milk. Neither of us had purchased. <laughs> I didn't rehearse this today. <laughs> So this is also the first time it feels long to me. <laughs> Daddy! There's a monster under my bed, said my son. I looked under the bed and my son crawled out saying, Daddy, there's a monster on my bed. So I just left the two of them to work all of that out. <laughs> Beware of that house, said the gnarled old woman who appeared suddenly on our porch. The man who lived there was the inventor of stabbing. <laughs> Find who wrote these two and, and fire them. <laughs> No, start now. I think there's going to be more. <laughs> the problem wasn't that I was being buried alive or even that I wasn't alone in the coffin. The problem was that the other guy in the coffin couldn't stop saying, dark enough for you, buddy boy. <laughs>
Bleeding and half dead, I walked towards the remote cabin in the woods, hoping for solace from the night's terrors. As I entered, a voice came from inside. This is Chris Hansen with To Catch a Predator. Gonna, it's not gonna be Halloween when this ends. <laughs> Inside her body was the spawn of Satan. But Satan wasn't really at a place in his life where he felt ready for kids. <laughs> I drove my Chevy to the levee, <laughs> but the levee was dry. <laughs> I kissed my mother goodnight, then she kissed back. When they put that in, they didn't know I'd already be mad. <laughs> I don't have anything prepared, so I'll speak from the heart, the best man said into the mic. They say he's still speaking. <laughs> to this very day! <laughs> Solid closer. Two sentence horror stories. We'll be right back with Sarah.